healing facilities, loss of health and safety programs, emergency preparedness response, foodborne illnesses increase, service and groundwater quality, which could uh, affect potential property value. Uh, District County, basically, we, the last year we've lost 31 positions. 20 have been eliminated. Most of those, quite honestly, in Lowndes County. All right, seven frozen and four, four decreased to part time. That's a terrible difficulty in hiring people. Let me tell you, if I want to start reopening the primary care clinic, we lose $100,000 and shut it because of that. I got a $70,000 out of school nurse practitioner. Actually, with a 50% fringe rate, when I was a private practice, I, my highest fringe rate in my group was 25%, the highest it ever got. The state has a 50% fringe rate. You got a $70,000 nurse practitioner, $105,000 employee, I don't have $35,000 flexibility in my budget. It's not built. Therefore, I can't hire people. Uh, it's incredible. The fringe rate is killing us too. And the legislator is going to have to address this at some point, whoever makes these decisions. Uh, the, the financial overview, Lowndes County Health Department, you've already seen the audit, audit and the financial report. They're very really good shape. It really, but I want to do one more point out something too. Unrestricted fund balance, that's after uncompensated leave is taken out. Uncompensated leave, okay? You saw all of them. Uh, look here in. It's 776,000 here, and it's dropped down now. This was back in 2009. In 2013, we're down to 375,000, or about half. Okay. We do not have a cash flow problem. If this would be if everybody in health program quit today, all right, and shut the place down. This is we would. This is really what we have left over. That's not going to happen. You know that. I know that. We don't have a cash flow problem at the moment. Fortunately, we got some really, this year we're seeing an uptick and very seeing that. But 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 I wanted you to be aware that I unrestricted fund balance is half of what it was five years ago. Okay. Uh, grant aid from the state has gone down from 72 million over the last uh, 10 years down to 68 million 10 years later. We're getting five million dollars less. Budget challenges that we say Lowndes initial decrease in the new formula that came out that I told y'all about two years ago, we're going to lose at the end of seven years $250,000. New formula plugged in poverty rate, populate, poverty rate, poverty share, population. Okay, they recalculated every year. This year, uh, the, the Lowndes is initial decrease, we're supposed to lose about the end of seven years $50,000 a year, around $250,000. At the end of that seven years, this year, the first year is going to actually kick in. We've been held harmless the last two years by the governor, and and, and we're going to be held harmless. So uh, we have been held harmless this year. We kick in at $150,000 this year. Lisa's making up for some of that through, through her activities, uh, and, and, but but there's a real issue here. We've had eliminates of budgets like SHAP. We've had the positions that I showed you. We've had effect. At, at, Employees in the child health system, HIV AIDS program, the women's health program, the teen clinics have been closed. We no longer have teen clinics anymore. Those two have been closed. Adolescent health program, we're down to one person, family planning. We've had loss of personnel, babies can't wait. We had 24 there a year ago. We have 12. <coughs> babies can't wait is what I was telling you. These are speech delay and Down syndrome, autism, etc. 